Hi, and welcome to the fourth part of a five-part tutorial series on flash track send reports. In this video, we'll go through how to access your project data on your PC or laptop within the Send Reports web app. If you don't already know, FlashTrack Send Reports is a cloud-based subscription service used in conjunction to FlashTrack, which is Facility Results' flagship ARC Flash data collection tool. You can access the Send Reports web app by launching your browser of choice and going to https colon forward slash forward slash www.flashtracksr.com Of course, most modern browsers will let you skip the https and www parts. Before you can view your report data online, you'll need to upload your project workbook and its associated snapshot images. That is, if you haven't done so already. As a quick reminder, you can upload a project by opening up the project workbook that you wish to upload within FlashTrack, clicking the File button at the top left of the main FlashTrack window, and then navigating to the Project Backstage tab and clicking the Upload button. During the upload process, you should see a Upload dialog window that's similar to the one shown here. For a detailed look at this process, please reference the second part of this tutorial series. If you haven't done so already, then you'll need to sign in first before you can view your uploaded projects and their associated data. The workbooks page is the home page of sorts for all your reports. Users with an annual subscription license can see a convert button associated to each row or uploaded project. Clicking this button will place your project workbook onto the Send Reports processing queue. When your project is converted, or in other words, our servers extract the associated data, um, such as your one lines, spreadsheets, and reports from your workbook, you'll be able to view these extracted files within the Send Reports web app. This process should generally be unnecessary as your project should automatically get processed after it's been uploaded. Clicking one of these projects navigates to a listing of that project's extracted reports data along with any associated snapshot images. In my case, all these extracted reports contain the same data since I ran the convert button multiple times. Here, you can download the previously uploaded project workbook. Clicking on the snapshots item within the listing will navigate to a page that contains snapshot images that you uploaded along with your project workbook, assuming that you actually did upload any images with your project. Clicking on one of these image thumbnails lets you view the actual image and navigate between different images. Going back to the reports page, we can now see that there are four extracted reports instead of three since our project has finished converting or extracting. Clicking one of these project listings shows us all of the extracted reports data that belongs to our uploaded project. Clicking on the one line diagram listing allows us to view one of the project's one line diagrams, which corresponds to a single tab within FlashTrack. This file can also be downloaded and saved to your local hard drive.
The attribute spreadsheets correspond to online versions of the Excel spreadsheet files. Downloading one of these files allows you to display it within Excel. such as shown here. Clicking on the Attribute Spreadsheet listing itself lets you view the same spreadsheet content online via the Send Reports web app. Here you can see the contents of the project info such as the label amount and point count. Clicking the Show button lets you view a table containing all the electrical items that belong to a particular type along with their attribute data. You can also filter out items by using the search box within each of these tables. Downloading the XML based Label Installation Report allows you to programmatically manipulate or import all the attributes from within your project workbook to any third-party tool that can read XML files. Clicking on the Label Installation Report listing programmatically generates a report for that specific workspace tab. Clicking on the Show button shows all the attributes for that electrical item. You can also click on a snapshot image in order to enlarge the thumbnails. Clicking any of the print buttons will load a separate printer-friendly version of the report. Here, you can either print to paper or to PDF. If you happen to have a PDF writer installed. In my case, I have Adobe Acrobat that comes with its own Adobe PDF writer.
here from within the files page, I can also download an offline version of all of the converted or extracted project data files in one zip file. Once you extract the downloaded zip package, you can double click each of the extracted XML files and print out a report for each of the workspace tabs within your project. The data within the downloadable offline version is the same as that which is accessible online via the Send Reports web app. Thank you for taking the time to watch the fourth part of our Flash Tracks Send Reports tutorial series. You can always reach us via the methods shown here. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.